You know, I want to speak about depression. And I've spoke about this a number of times, but this is one of those topics that can't be talked about enough, can't be overemphasized, can't be dealt with enough. Because most people, if not all, are dealing with some form of depression. And we have chosen different routes to circumvent dealing with challenges, obstacles, uh, reality. When we drink, we drink for a different feeling. Even if it's just to relax. Even if it's just a buzz. You see, we feel that we have to take something in that isn't necessarily a good, however, we feel because of what it do or what it allows me to escape or me not have to deal with, I continue to take it in. So some of us drink to shift the way we're looking at things, to shift the way we're dealing with things. Uh, some of us drink because it makes it, uh, it, it, it makes us more or it puts us in a position where we're able to deal with things just a bit better, right? And some of us smoke for the exact same reason. Some of us eat a lot for the exact same reason. And some of us go party. Some of us have sex. I mean, some of we, a lot of us, we, are, you know, there's a, there's a saying, you know, I know like in the hood anyway, that everybody has their crack. Some people's crack is hamburgers. Some people's crack is chocolate. Some people's crack is milk. Some people's crack is sex. Some people's crack is their phone. Some people's crack is social media. Some people's crack is attention. You understand what I'm saying? And when you talk about a person's crack, it's that thing that they are addicted to that they can't do without. And I'm talking about depression though. Because one thing I want you to understand is that you see all of those things have a correlation to that. But what I'm driving to, and the main thing I really want to point out here, is the thing that I've always pointed out, because if it's not the number one thing, it's second to it. I believe diet is a big piece. But the reason why I believe still what I'm about to say is number one, as the main cause of depression, is because it is this little piece that even leads one to not eating properly, to not seeking out uh, the best form of, uh, or the best things to, to put into his or her body. And this thing that I'm talking about is ingratitude. Ingratitude, man. You see, one of the main reasons we walk around so depressed and we have these moments of depression you know, we have these moments where we're not feeling happy and we sad and we don't know why. What I'm trying to tell you is because we spend so much time focusing on what we don't have that we're not giving enough attention to what we have. And you see, if we start treating what we have as though it's something we do not want to lose, if we start treating the things that we have, if we start treating it like we valued it, and start building it up, start taking care of it, start fixing it, start uh, revising it, if we start breathing life into what we have, then we may be able to see the value in it and be thankful and be grateful for it. You know, to the point to where we don't give so much attention to what we don't have. You see, there's nothing wrong with striving for more. You know, it's nothing wrong with it, striving for better, at least from my perspective, right? It's nothing wrong with it, but it is something wrong with not being grateful 
for what you have striven for. You see, once you've strove and got something because that which you are not no longer uh, uh, seeing the value in, that relationship, that car, that body you have, you know, that job, that home you in. You know what I'm talking about? You see, the thing that you presently have that you are no longer seeing value in because you want a bigger car, you want a foreign car, you want a, 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 a newer car, you know, you want to make that, that that has X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm talking about? You, you, you want a body that looks like this, that, and another. You know what I'm saying? You want a home that, that that's, that's huge and got two floors to it and, and, and nine rooms. You know what I'm saying? All these different things. See, it's really nothing wrong with, 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 with wanting more, you know, if you if you work, if you're doing the work. It's nothing wrong with wanting more if you're willing to do the work. And nothing wrong with it if you're willing to do the work for it, right? But once you get it and you start losing value for it, you see, now you just ungrateful. And see, that is the main reason why you find yourself depressed. That is one of the main reasons. You see, like I said, when I say you died, you see, uh, uh, I believe food, the stuff that we take in because we take in so much poison, I believe that it's definitely affecting us in a negative way. And it, it's not allowing us to think and, and, and generate the right vibrations. I do believe that. But again, that's still as a result of the lack of value we're having for the vessel. You know what I'm saying? It's the lack of value. See, when we first get something, we love to clean it up and take care of it and pamper it and whatever it is, right? We're going to protect all that when we first get it. But after we have it for a while, we just kind of stop giving it the same amount of attention. Especially if it start giving us any kind of complications and problems. Next thing you know, we don't even want it. We want something else. Especially, you know, and the other thing, if it's no longer acceptable or, or, or valued by your peers, valued by those you want to be accepted by. See, when it's no longer valued by those you want to be accepted by, now you got to get something that they value. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't going to never be happy if that's the case. Because you're not getting what you want. You're not doing what you're doing for you. You're doing it because of, of what others accept, what others put value in. And you will never, you will never be able to be happy like that. So, I mean, my, my, my main point, you know, I ain't got to draw this out no, no further because I've really said what I needed to say. And is that we have to start appreciating what we have. We have to start treating what we have like we don't want to lose it and like we really appreciate having it. Because there's some people that don't have that and wish they had what you got. So uh, 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 you'll find yourself one day in a position, you know, Lord forbid, you'll find yourself in a position where you don't have what you presently have and you're going to wish you had it again. Hey, you ever been hungry? I'm talking about, like, you know, I've, I've been hungry. Hungry as a mug before. Damn the start. You know what I'm saying? I done had, I done damn near felt off in the past side because I'm so hungry. I'm talking about as a kid and so on, right? So I've been in situations where I thought about some fries that I left on a on 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 on, on the napkin, you know, at McDonald's or, or 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 how I didn't eat all my food at somewhere, you know, because I was full at the moment. I thought I said, damn, I wish I would have ate all that back then. You know, I might not be so hungry right now. You know what I'm saying? I said, but that's just how life is. You see, if you get put in certain situations, you'll start missing the smallest thing. You know what I'm saying? You'll start missing the smallest thing. You know, so learn to be grateful because life has a way of making you realize some things. And I'm gonna tell you from my own personal experience, and you all done experienced it too in some form where fast, you just gotta realize that you don't want to be put in that position. You don't want life to have to show you shit all the time. Something you need to be able to take heed to. When somebody tell you or you see it, you see other people living it and going through it, you need to be able to take heed to some things. You shouldn't have to always go through shit all the time before you learn the lesson. 